Okay, so let's start the milling machine or model. And we are taking the first example based on milling machine. So we will consider 101 pattern detection first for overlapping. That means we are going to detect 1010 by using the Mille machine model. So the first step for this designing will be the state diagram, and it is actually the most important part, state diagram. So how to draw the state diagram? Here we have to draw, write down the state, and if you get the one bit correct, single bit correct, then you have to move to the another state, for example, B. And in between, we have to write down input by output. As we have seen the sequence detection just before this lecture, we have seen sequence detection. For 1001, 101, I gave the example. And here I am detecting 1010. And we are considering overlapping. I'm just giving you an example. For example, you are having the inputs. It can be of any type, for example, 10, 10, 00, 10, 10, 10, 00, 00, 00, 10, 10, 10, 10, like this. And we are considering overlapping. So first you always write down what will be the input and how, what will be the output. That will give you the idea how to draw the state diagram. So what will be the output in this case? Whenever I receive the correct pattern, I will get the output 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Here as this is overlapping, I will also check for the correct bit, but here also we are not getting it. So whenever again I will get the correct pattern, I will get 0, 0, 1. As this is the overlapping bit sequence, I can take it the bits from the correct pattern and here also I will get 0, 1. Understand? Here 0, 0, 0. And again, whenever I will receive a 1, 0, 1, 0, I will get output like this. Clear? So now here you can see there is a chance of how many bit overlapping? There is a chance of two bit overlapping, right? So here you write down chance of maximum two bit overlapping. That is the first thing we should know if you are drawing the state diagram for overlapping condition. So there will be a chance of two bit overlap, right? Now, here you write down 1010 zero, zero, and initia always initialize your state diagram for from state A. Whenever you receive a single bit correct, you have to move to the another state that is B. And what is the way of writing? In between, you have to write down input by output, right? So when I receive a first bit correct, that is one, output will be zero because we have not received the correct bit pattern till now. And always remember Z A is an initial state. That means we don't have any bit correct. B means single bit correct. That means we received one till now. Whenever I will receive the second zero, so I will move to the another state C and I will write down here zero by zero because my first bit is one, next bit is zero. So C is, is the state where we have two bit correct, right? Two bit correct means what? Now I have one zero. I was, I am waiting for one. Whenever I will receive one by zero, I will move to the another state D. Okay. Only for the last bit, only for the last bit, we have to check how many bits are in overlap. As you can see here, we have two bit in overlap. You have to skip two state. OK, if there is two bit overlapping, then you have to skip two states, one state and two state. And here you have to come back to C. And whenever you receive the last bit correct, that is zero, your output become one. So this is the input and this is the output. One, zero, one, zero. Now you can see we ha have drawn the state diagram for the correct inputs. Now what will happen if I will get the wrong inputs? For example, I'm in, I am in the state A and I am getting because see there is a two possibility. If you are in state A, either you will get one or zero. So for a one, I already drawn. Now we will see for zero. Is this clear? 
for every state there is a probability of either 0 or 1 we already drawn the state diagram for 1 if your input is 1 now there is a chance you are getting continuously zeros right if you get the continuous zeros and my first bit is 1 that means we have not received a single bit correct also so that means i will remain in the state a because a is the zero bit correct state so whenever you receive zero by zero you have to remain in the same state that is a clear now <clears throat> you are in the state b state b means a single bit correct state that means we are having one with us i was waiting for zero if i will get zero i will move to the state c but unfortunately i am getting continuously one 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 because we have already drawn for zero we are thinking of one if we will get one that means we in this situation also we have a single bit correct that is one because i need only 1010 to make a correct pattern so now in this situation also we have a single bit correct i will remain in the state b because it is a single bit correct state now i am in the state c in the state c means we have two bit correct that is 10 i was waiting for one if i will get one i will move to the d state but if you are getting zero what will happen if you are getting zero i don't have any bit correct because i was waiting for 1010 10, right so that means complete pattern is lost here so that means we don't have a single bit correct also that means you have to come back to the initial state that is a and here you have to write down zero by zero because if input is zero your output will be zero now you are in the state d we state d means we already have we already have c bit correct that is 1 0 i was waiting for 0 if i will get 0 i will move to the c state but if i am getting 1 now you see how many bits are correct we have a single bit correct because after this also we require 1 0 1 0 so we have we have only single bit correct single bit correct state is b so you have to move to the b state and here you write on 1 by 0 so this is the complete state diagram for detecting 1010 overlapping now if you have this much knowledge now we can go for the state table so here i am moving to the second step that is state table in the state table the first part will be the present state then we have input x then we have a next state and then we have a output z that will be we will represent by z okay so here this is the in present state this is the next state this is the output okay so how many states we have a b c d right here you write down a b this is for c and this is for d so i am drawing it for a b c d states so here i am writing this is a this is a why because input can be either 0 1 that's why i am writing two times similarly b b because input can be either 0 1 c c input can be either 0 1 d d either 0 or 1 right why i am writing like this because in a if you are in state a there is a possibility of either 0 input or in one one input now for example you are in the state a and you get 0 0 means the next state will also be a only so here next state is a similarly if you are in state a what will be the next state if you get 1 as a input next state will be b so here you write down b similarly i will tell you for b b if you are in state b and you are getting 0 as a input you are in b and you are getting 0 as a input next state will be c clear if you are in state b and you are getting one as a input if you are in state b and you are getting one as a input you have to be in remain in the same state that means next state will also be b only right similarly you will find out if you are in state a and you are get a c you are getting uh, input as zero your next state will be a similarly this will be d this will be c and this will be b and now we will see the output output is one only when you are moving from d to c so only when you are moving from d to c your output is 1 for rest of the condition it will be 0 so i am just making it as 0 because you can see in the state diagram also 
we have written output one only one time when you are moving from D to C. For rest of the, the jump, we have output zero only. But as you know that in digital system design, everything is like a binary number system. But here we are writing the state as A, B, C, D. So we have to represent in the form of binary. So as we are having four states, we require minimum two bits to represent. I'm considering zero, zero for A. B will be represented by zero, one. C will be represented by one, zero. And D will be represented by one, one. Whatever representation we have used it here, the same you have to write down in the next state. As A is represented by 0, 0, A 0, 0, A 0, 0. Similarly, B we are writing as 0, 1. So 0, 1, 0, 1. Here also 0, 1. C is represented by 1, 0. So it is 1. This is 0. D, uh, B, uh, C is represented by 1, 0. D is represented by 1, 1. So now this is the next state, right? For example, uh, we are using D flip flop for uh, for designing. OK, here I am writing D flip flop. For example, we are using D flip flop for designing this Mille machine. It's always preferable to use D flip flop. Why? Because it's simple and we have to make only two K mat to find out the expression. So as we are using two bits here, we require two flip flops. So here I am writing D2 and D1 are my two flip flops. And as you are using the D flip flop, we should know the transition table of D flip flop. Here I am drawing the tran transition table. Table of D flip flop. So you know that QN, QN plus one, and this is D. It can be 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. It can be 0, 1, 0, 1. Why I, I was saying that always preferable to take D flip flop for designing because whatever will be the next state, it is same as that of your D. OK, so here we can directly write down your this. This you assume as Q2. This is Q1 and this is Q2 plus 1. That means it's a next state. This is Q1 plus 1. So now this. Next state will be equal to D2 and D1. That's why I was saying that whatever is your next state, it is same as that of the value of D. So here, whatever is your next state, you can write down directly as it is here. 0, 0, this is 0, 1. So you can write down as 0, 1. This is 1, 0. So you can write down 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So this is the state table that we require in the second step. Now we will see the K map. Why? Because we require the expression of D2 and D3. So third step is finding the expression of D2 and D1 using K map. OK, so how many variables are there? You see we have Q2, Q1 and X. That means we have three input variables. So we have to draw the three variable K map to find out the expression of D2. Here I am considering this is Q2, this is Q1, and this is X. Wherever its value is 1. So for example, here you see 0, 0, 1. So 0. Here you write down K map as you know that gray code is used to design the gray code, uh, uh, to design the K map. So here I am using it like this. So you can see here 0, 0, 1. So this is 0, 0. This is 1. Then 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 1. And the last two values are 1, 0. So this is, this is 1 and this is 0. Now you have to make the group. So you can see here one group like this. Another is the single a value or single term SOP. So the, the value of D2 that we will get will be Q0, uh, Q1. This is uh, Q1, yes, Q1, X bar plus, and this is the single expression that is Q2, Q1, uh, Q1 bar and X bar. So this is the expression for D2. Now we will find out the expression of D1. And D1 will be calculated by using the three variable K map like this. This is 0, this is 1, 
This is zero 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 one 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 and one zero. That also you have to fill it by here by the values. Like here you have one, here you have one, here you have one, here you have one. So the value, uh, if you fill, you will get like this, and it will be a quad combination. So the value of d one will be equals to x. Also, we need the value of uh, z. Z is one only one time from the k map. You can see z is one only one time, and the expression will be q two q one x bar, right? So q two q one x bar. This is the expression. Now, as we are having all the expressions, we can make a circuit diagram. And for the circuit diagram, at the top, I am making d two. That means d flip flop, and in bracket, I am writing two. And this is d one. That means this is d flip flop, and I am writing one. Now, what is the expression for d two? For d two, we calculated as this complete expression. So we require two AND gates like this: one, two, one OR gate like this. And that value, I am substituting it here. The first expression is q one x bar. So this is q one. This is x bar. Q two Q one bar. Q two Q one bar. X bar. That you have to give to the OR gate. That will work as a D two. Similarly, D one is x. So here you write down D one is x. From this D flip flop, I will get the Q two as the output. Here I will get Q one as the output. And this another terminal will give you Q2 bar, and this is Q1 bar. As this is a synchronous circuit, the clock will be same to all the flip flops. So here, this is the clock. Now, Z value that we calculated is Q1, Q2. So Q1, Q2, and X bar. So this is Q2, Q1, and another one is X bar. That you have to provide in the three terminals of the AND gate. And this is your output Z. So this is the designing of one zero one zero overlapping. That's all for this lecture.